So, the tribe of incels, or involuntary celibates for short, have gotten a new wave of popularity because some other incel decided to engage in a beta uprising and he conveniently left behind a manifesto, so now all these big popular online publications are really trying to get on this lucrative topic. What are incels? What do they mean when they use terms like Chad, Brad, Stacy, Luxmax? And that's cool and all. That you're going to end up getting the same kind of critics to the insult tribe that the tribe I was a part of, the Neat tribe, got. Which is people taking it prescriptively instead of descriptively. So you're going to get a lot of people thinking that you calling yourself an insult means that you think you should be getting sex with women. Which isn't necessarily the case. Or in my case, back when I was in neat, a lot of people took things prescriptively that I was thinking that I was entitled to having money, even though I was in school and training or had a job. But really, having a job was something that I wanted, and I was working to get all those years when I was in neat. But let's not go into that tangent. The point I want to get to is this idea that. The insult movement is, or insult tribe, I'm going to use the term tribe, something to essentially segregate group A, the insult group, versus group B, non-insults, us versus them. Uh, and that's essentially what a tribe is, you know, a group of people you can categorize. And... If we were to actually look at what the ethnic composition of a lot of insults are, just go look up some insult YouTubers. It's almost like the anime YouTube community. There aren't really a lot of popular white anime YouTubers. I'll see that annoying guy who... Yeah, Double Four Anime, Digibro, if he counts, and Mutter's Basement. But aside from that, like the big anime YouTubers are like black guys, Hispanics, especially my homie for Neverworld, Arab dudes. Like, there's a lot of diversity in popular anime YouTubers, and it's much more so the case with insult YouTubers, where I was looking at this like, damn, I'm seeing other Latino guys. I'm seeing, and not like mostly white people like me. I'm seeing, like, racially undiscernible Latinos who are, like, a mix of three or four different actual ethnic groups. And I'm seeing black guys, Hapas, Indians, Arabs, all types of people. It is racially diverse, probably much more so than what you'd get with the Chad tribe. Uh, Compared to my mentalizing that group as well. And that to me is pretty interesting. And I mentioned this point many times on many Facebook groups, and I've been vindicated each time. Like, I've been told, yeah, you're right. If you're probably trying to look for some of the mean groups in terms of, you know, if you're gonna try to look at it in a data way, most of the insults would probably be hapas, so half Asian, half white, and Indians. Like they would make up a large bulk. Maybe not over fifty percent, but they'd be the largest minorities in a group with no majorities. And before this whole insult thing came popular, someone tried beating it into our heads, this Asian dude, who I'm friends with on social media, that there really is no way to be an insult if you're white. At the time I thought, there's some truth to that, but 
that really has to be an exaggeration because maybe he's being bitter, maybe his life is kicking him in the ass, and him being the Asian guy, things are hard for him when it comes to being attractive to women. And I don't want to offend any Asian person who's watching this video because you're probably cute. <laughs> but really, the whole point I want to get across is he's right. Because some other things have been pretty popular on the internet lately, especially since October and that's black girl posting having all these posts on social media with young black women looking really proud and as Tyra Banks would put it fierce and with the description that black girls are magical and I'm seeing a lot of these women and they're with white guys and I've seen a lot of black guys complaining you know, it is so easy for a white guy to get black women, like, compared to being a black guy and trying to get black women. And I see a lot of Asians saying the same thing. A lot of Hapas saying the same thing. And the vibe I get is that you could be chubby, nerdy, uncharismatic. All of these things as a white guy, but if you're a white dude, uh, to an extent, you have a lot more leeway. It's definitely a situation where if you're not really having a girlfriend by now, and you're in your early 20s or whatnot, that's really up to you, because there are definitely a wider mean of women who are attracted to you and that feels very harsh to say it sounds like saying you can't be uh, white and oppressed or you can't be a non-white and racist like one of those black terms or blanket terms but in this case here it's something I can agree with to an extent because I've seen it applied you really can't be white and an insult. At best, you're a vol cell or a voluntary celibate. Really, it's all up to you. And there will be women who are potentially interested in a guy like you. And that's just one thing I want to clarify. Outside of that, it's not really a topic that interests me that much, which is why I'm stammering over my words. I don't really have time to rehearse these kinds of videos anymore, since I only talk about whatever is in my head on the fly nowadays. And I'm really swamped with a lot of work and shit like that, so... This has been your boy, Mr. Wonka7. Take care. I hope you're all doing good.